So today we are going to go and attempt to switch this silver chloride back to metallic silver with a little bit of aluminum and some hydrochloric acid. So right now we're just sitting in a little bit of distilled water. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple bits of aluminum in there. That should be more than enough, but I have extra just in case. Alright. And we are going to put a splash of aluminum in there. See if we can get this uh, silver chloride to change into metallic silver. So let's see here. We can see right off the bat we've got some change. We can see our silver starting to darken up. See the darker spots? All right, well, we're just gonna let this do its thing. And uh, yeah, I'll bring back to you when we uh, when we got it all converted. This is still working away here. We can see it's starting to clump together, and uh, there's hardly any white left. We can still see a little bit. Um, a lot of what you're seeing there is bubbles. From the actual reaction itself. So we'll let it keep rocking and uh, we'll melt this up so we can see exactly how much silver we uh, we removed out of those first two aqua regia blasts. All right so I think we are good to go on this front here. Let's see We got some floaters for sure. We're not going to get it all, no question about that. There's going to be some. Uh, escapees so let's see what I can do here so I want to get let's go like this I gotta get these three little aluminum pieces out which do uh, contain silver And we have a whole bunch, I can't say a whole bunch, but a decent amount of cement silver in there. I'm going to give this one more rinse here. See if we can get any of that uh, leftover hydrochloric out. You can see it's already sticking together pretty well. Well, maybe not. I'm not paying attention to the camera mode here. There we go. I'll get you up in here a little bit. My bad, guys. All right. So that's my waste, my aluminum waste. I'm not putting that in any other stock pots. I'm going to just take care of that separately. Um, 
yeah, there's no sense mixing it, getting that aluminum all over the place. And uh, let's grab a little bit of distilled water. Just a little bit. And let's boil this. Let's boil this. Oh, way high. Perfect. All right. Let's drain the rest of this off and take a look at our metallic silver. And there it is. So I am going to run a little bit of hydrochloric in here. Um, just to see if we can maybe get rid of any aluminum and then uh, we'll go ahead and get a weight on it. See, do we have reaction? Oh yeah. We'll pull the rest of that aluminum out. I imagine that's what all that thin stuff is. Ah, we'll boil it. It'll be alright. It will be all right. It is we have some cement silver? It looks beautiful. All right, let's get rid of that hydrochloric solution. We don't need that anymore. All right, let's get you in hand mode here. So there we go. You can see that. We've got uh, beautiful silver there. So let's do a couple more boils. And then, uh, yeah, dehydrate it. It's a nice shot of that color. Beautiful color. All right, let's get a weight on this bad boy. So we'll go ahead and zero that out. And... Break this stuff up a little bit. All right, so I think it is safe to say we got uh, one point, almost four, 1.39 grams of silver out of there. But it works really nice, that aluminum method. I like that a lot. Um, I still have um, the lye sugar method on the bucket list, and we'll do that one day. But I just wanted to to get an, an idea of how much metal we pulled out of our last experiment. Because I want to get all of that weighed up so that we can uh, see exactly what uh, what metals were in that 20 grams of uh, gold that we got. Um, at least to start with anyway. So I think that's a good, uh, good reference point.
and I still have that solution there. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start dehydrating that and bring the solution down um, so it's a little more compact. So if we have any gold, it's going to test a little easier. Um, and then, of course, if we have more silver chloride in there, it'll it'll fall out. And, uh, well, I imagine it's cold now, so it should all, it should all be out of there. Um, but, yeah, there we have it. There we have it. I don't know where we just heard that. <laughs> oh, man. So that aluminum method is really cool. Um, I can make a more in-depth video on that if you'd like. Uh, but to be honest, there's really not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know what? I'll just say we'll go ahead and do it. We will make a little more dedicated video. So this one was kind of... Uh, you know, it's part of this series. We're trying to get the exact amount of metals, right? So here's my tally. I've just been kind of taking notes on the bag. So, so far we've got, uh, I've added 17.36 grams of silver, um, which should be roughly 1.3 grams of copper in there which we're not gonna be able to detect because I didn't, uh, I'm not cementing the copper out and I already cemented the silver out with copper, which I know was a bad, I should have dropped it with hydrochloric, done the rest of it with uh, either the lion sugar method. And then we could have cemented the copper out on steel and we would have gotten an exact copper weight to see exactly what's in here. And that's what I should have done, but I, yeah. Next go around. Um, and then so far we've pulled out the 1.39 grams of silver for the first and second AR batch. I've got that evaporated. That solution is completely, I can't say completely. I've got it down to about an inch yet and we got crystals starting to fall out. So I know we should be able to test it. There shouldn't be any nitric in there. So we can kind of push forward with that. I also just finished up the, uh, filter. So we got a little bit of gold out of there. So right now we got 1.39 of silver and 1.19 of gold. So I'm interested to see, and I've got the rest of that cemented out. So I've got to clean that up a little bit uh, before before we get a weight on there. Um, I've got class tomorrow. Well, it'll be today, today, Thursday, and Friday. I think Monday. And then it's it. I'm done. I am done. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I will officially have my journeyman's card at that. Yeah. So five years, five years. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.